Good morning, gentlemen. I want to read this this morning, uh, just a, a great challenge. It's from the book, Fresh Wind, Fresh Fire. Check the vital signs. Prayer is the source of the Christian life, a Christian lifeline. Otherwise, it's like having a baby in your arms and dressing her up so cute, but she's not breathing. Never mind the frilly clothes, stabilize the child's vital signs. It does no good to talk to someone in a comatose state. That's why a great emphasis on teaching in today's churches is producing such limited results. Completely agree. Teaching is good only where there's life to be channeled. If the listeners are in a spiritual coma, what we're telling them may be fine and orthodox, but unfortunately, spiritual life cannot be taught. Pastors and churches have to get uncomfortable enough to say, we are not New Testament Christians if we don't have a prayer life. This conviction makes us squirm a little, but how else will there be a breakthrough with God? If we truly think about what Acts 2, 42 says, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. We can see that prayer is almost a proof of a church's normalcy. Calling on the name of the Lord is the fourth great hallmark in the list. If my church or your church isn't praying, we shouldn't be boasting in our orthodoxy or our Sunday morning attendance figures. In fact, Carol and I have told each other more than once that if the spirit of brokenness and calling on God ever slacks off in the Brooklyn Tabernacle, we'll know we're in trouble, even if we have 10,000 in attendance. That is some good stuff. Great challenge for us as men to be prayer warriors for our families, for our wives, for our children, but also for Radiant Church and for the community we've been called to reach. So with that being said, I'm going to go pray. Love you, brothers. Hope you have an amazing day. Peace.